Hey friends and happy Thanksgiving. Today we are gonna hang out at the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna ride some rides, check on the crowds, and see if they're doing anything special for this holiday. And then later on tonight, we have dining reservations at California Grill where they're preparing a special Thanksgiving Day menu just for today. Anywho's, let's go do this. I was so lucky to be able to grab a reservation for California Grill for Thanksgiving Day. I had no idea that they even did a special menu, so I'm excited to see what they're offering. And plus, we're gonna have an amazing view. If you're not sure where California Grill is, it's at the very top of the Contemporary Resort right here, and it overlooks the whole entire Magic Kingdom. And we're just gonna be able to enjoy Thanksgiving dinner and stare at Cinderella Castle. So I'm very excited for that. Normally, the California Grill is only open from 5 p.m. till 10 p.m., but today being Thanksgiving Day and they're doing a special menu, they're open from 2 p.m. till 9.30. And I think that's really awesome because they're going to have more people to feed. And like I said, I was lucky enough to grab a reservation. I'm sure it was very hard and it was just kind of the luck of a draw. I just kept on tapping inside the My Disney Experience app until it popped up and here we are. Since our reservation isn't until a little bit later on, we're going to sneak over to the Magic Kingdom and ride some rides and check out all the fall and festive things that they're doing. It would be pretty cool if they did some kind of Thanksgiving Day cavalcade, but I don't think anything like that's going to happen. They might actually have some Thanksgiving Day like limited edition pins and maybe some photo pass props that you can use that say Happy Thanksgiving. So we'll just keep our eye out and see what actually is out there. And just like that, we are at the Magic Kingdom. Just being able to come here on Thanksgiving Day is something special on its own. I love walking in and hearing the Christmas music. It's a great way to start the day. Oh, over there, someone's got a turkey on their head. Even though I miss my mom and sister, I'm very thankful that I'm able to come to the Magic Kingdom on Thanksgiving. There's no other place I'd rather be other than with them. And I'm also thankful for all my family and all my friends who watch the videos and just being able to have the opportunity to bring you guys along with me and share this experience and also just to give you guys some entertainment and maybe some pointers if you plan on coming to Thanksgiving next year. Looks like they do have a happy Thanksgiving photo pass prop. So you definitely want to get in line as soon as possible for those because it takes a long time and people get really excited. And the photo pass photographer that's taking photos right now is super awesome. He spends a lot of time making sure to get all the good spots. That was a fun little photo pass session right there. I really love when they bring out like the special holiday photo pass props and just kind of enjoyed the picture with the castle. I can't wait to see how they come out. Now I want to go say hi to one of my favorite Casey's cast members and say happy Thanksgiving. Hey tomorrow, how are you today my friend? Very well. Hey, the man right there, I got a little something for you sir. Hold that thought right there. Oh. <laughs> How awesome was that? Thank you, Jason. Happy Thanksgiving. And you're so awesome. You ended up bringing me a mint julep. And it made my day. Very fancy. Thank you. Please welcome the Varsity Spirit All-Americans. Well, that was really cool to see. The Varsity Spirit All-Americans uh, Happy Thanksgiving cheer down Main Street USA. I wasn't expecting that, but it was cool to see something other like than the regular cavalcades. And they, I'm like, I like how they added the Happy Thanksgiving in there. So that was really awesome. As I was walking past the ice cold refreshments, I was looking for anything like Thanksgiving themed. You never know what they actually might put out. Maybe it could be a cookie, could be anything, but 
I did find a surprise. It's not Thanksgiving themed, but it is pretty amazing. And it's the frozen bananas. Look at this. They brought these back. Dark chocolate and peanuts covered on a frozen banana. This is so good for $5.75. Even though we're about to have Thanksgiving dinner, I definitely need to try it. Look at these bad boys. Frozen bananas. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> there, you're gonna have to have... Oh wait, because it comes on a stick. I love it. Wow, this is so refreshing. Like, <laughs> I like this a lot. The hardest thing though is like the banana itself because when you take a bite of it, it's hard to break the banana off, but like you eat away at the chocolate and peanuts and it's just so delicious. Well, today keeps on just getting better and better. We got surprise parades and a frozen banana, and we still have to get to dinner. So I figured we'd make our way over to Liberty Square, only because that kind of makes the most sense for Thanksgiving. And we'll just see what's happening over there. Oh yeah, you can see a big crowd of people waiting to get in there. It's a very good restaurant, and I can see why a lot of people actually want to dine there on Thanksgiving. I think we're gonna make our way over to Big Thunder Mountain. I wanna see about riding that today. It'd be a fun ride to ride on Thanksgiving Day, you know? I haven't gotten a good look at the wait time so far in the park. I'm gonna have to pull it up and look, but it doesn't look too busy today. I mean, it, it kinda seems like a regular busy day, but not like a holiday busy day. But who knows, we'll tell by the wait times. A lot of people could be just waiting in line. Overall, it doesn't look too bad. It says Big Thunder Mountain is only a 45 minute wait. 65 minutes for Haunted Mansion, 70 minutes for Splash Mountain, 45 minutes for, I think, Pirates of the Caribbean, and then what's this one for 115? Jungle Cruise, 115 minute wait. Well, that's because it's the Jingle Cruise. 45 minutes is an excellent wait time for Big Thunder Mountain, so I'm making my way over there right now. Oh boy, we have come to the hottest part in all of Walt Disney World. It gets so hot and muggy in between this little corridor down here because everybody's jammed together, my glasses instantly fog up. It never fails. <laughs> never fails. As we wait for our train to pull up, I always like to see what strange things fall underneath the track. I can see a rose petal over there, and also it looks like an annual pass in the corner there, but nothing too unusual. Just the regular things you kind of normally will always see. Oh, and here it comes. Hello. Hello, how are you? Great. Happy Thanksgiving. Me too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Best remove them. I'm bald. Here we go. Happy Thanksgiving. great one huh big thunder mountain was a lot of fun i still can't get over it was only 45 minutes on thanksgiving day okay we really lucked out there even though it was only 45 minute wait it did eat up a big chunk of my time and now it's time to actually head back over to the california grill get ready for a little din din our reservation is at 255 like i said before they're open uh, i think like an extra four hours so we got an early reservation it's kind of like a thanksgiving lunch but we're gonna treat it like a dinner 
we might hop back over to the Magic Kingdom after dinner, depending on how busy it is and actually how full we get because it is a Thanksgiving feast, you know what I mean? One of the things I realized is I didn't think it was that busy when we first got here because that was before 2 o'clock. Now that it's officially park hopping time, the wait times went up substantially. Because a lot of people can now park hop over to Magic Kingdom if they had reservations at like Epcot or Hollywood Studios, it got so busy here. Three attractions have a 100 minute plus wait, including Peter Pan's Flight, Seven Doors Mine Train, uh, the Jingle Cruise. Everything else is probably about 55, 55 minutes. So the average wait time is literally an hour. So if you plan on visiting like a park uh, during the holidays and as this reservation system is still in play, I suggest getting those long weighted attractions out of the way before two o'clock because people will literally tend to hop over to Magic Kingdom on holidays because this is the park everyone wants to be at. It's beautiful. I mean, especially during the holiday season. On my way out and over to the California Grill, I wanted to stop over just so I could see the countdown sign here at Magic Kingdom. 30 days till Christmas. I can't even believe it, but we're almost there. Thanksgiving is officially over starting today, and some say this is the kickoff for the Christmas season. I mean, even though a lot of places have been doing it for a while, a lot of people like to traditionally wait until after Thanksgiving. Now it's time to hop the monorail to the Contemporary Resort, and I'm happy because I'm a little hungry. We went from the Magic Kingdom right on over here to the Contemporary, and now it's time for Thanksgiving dinner, and we're going all the way up. California Grill does have a strict dress code, so hats off for this one. I can't wait to see what the menu is at the California Grill. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's just turkey stuffing and like, you know, the fixings, or maybe they just do some other special stuff. Most of the restaurants at Walt Disney World should be doing some kind of turkey dinner. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of figured California Grill opening a little bit early, maybe it'd be something fancy, you never know. California Grill is located on the second floor of the Contemporary and the only way to get up to the restaurant is with a special elevator that only goes up to the 15th floor and that's the only way unless you want to climb all those steps on the outside but that's still not a proper way to go in. Here is the dress code that I was talking about. Guests are asked to adhere to the minimum dress code. Men must wear khaki, slacks, or dress shorts, and collared shirts and jeans may be worn if in good condition. And no uh, tank tops, flip-flops, swimsuits, swim cover-ups, hats for gentlemen, cut-off, torn clothing, t-shirts with offensive language, or graphics. So that's why no hat for me. And I think my button-up is kind of like a, a button-up. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's the holiday season. And we hit 15. All the way up to the 15th floor. So I just got to my table and I love it. I've got a window seat so I can stare out at the castle and just look how beautiful it is up here. Isn't this amazing? And they're actually playing Christmas music. I just love being out here. Right here is my table. And if you just take a look right outside there, Look at that. Happy Thanksgiving. I really, really do love it. Just as I thought, they actually have a turkey, well, a Thanksgiving Day feast. And they added it to their 50th anniversary uh, menu that they're only doing just for today. And it's a three course meal. It comes with a lobster and squash bisque, and then a rotisserie turkey dinner that comes with a little bit of white meat and dark meat, all the fixings, stuffing, cranberry relish. And then for dessert, you get a pumpkin creme brulee. And honestly, it all sounds amazing. It's $89 a person. So I'm very excited to try this. Of course, if you didn't actually want to get any of those things, you can get whatever you want. They have plenty of options here, but I'm just interested in the things that are only being served today. So that is the lobster and squash bisque right here at the top. That's the appetizer. And then the rotisserie all natural turkey, and it's a braised leg and thigh, cornbread dumpling, uh, whipped potatoes, brown butter, sauteed green beans, gravy, cranberry relish, all the amazing items, and then the pumpkin creme brulee, but they have plenty of other offerings that they normally would do just for the 50th anniversary celebration menu. 
one of the things that I always love to get when I come here is the uh, wontons because I love them. They're one of my favorite appetizers. So I asked and you can order like another uh, appetizer if you want it because I want to try all of the holiday like uh, offerings like I want to try the uh, lobster and uh, squash bisque but I also want the wonton so I'm gonna get them both the first thing they brought out is the lobster and squash bisque look at this look at the lobster in there oh I'm excited to try this I'm not a big fan of like bisque but uh, when they kind of add it to the menu and this is only for today, like you really got to try it because like I said, what are you going to wait a whole nother year to try it? And that's even if they bring it back, this could be a once in a lifetime thing. Another thing I wanted to do is have a beer. If they had a pumpkin beer, that would have been amazing. But instead, I kept it uh, a little bit of uh, Bud Light. Keeping it all America here and uh, happy Thanksgiving, friends. Cheers. Now... Let's try the bisque. It's kind of a little bit hot up here because we're kind of like directly in front of the sun. So hot soup on a hot day at the California Grill. <laughs> we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try to get down here like this. Okay, that is amazing. Wow. I have to say that might be the best bisque i think i've ever had so so good and the lobster is like so like like there's such big chunks of lobster in there wow i can't wait to try some of the bread with the soup as well because the bread is amazing here look at that bread look at that focaccia bread and just to be able to kind of like dip it in this soup a little bit so good you know, I love mixing things with my bread. Like, you know what I mean? Like dipping it in there, but this focaccia bread is so, so good and so soft. Oh man, and adding the little bisque to it makes everything so much better. Seriously though, look at the lobster inside here. Look at all of that. That is so awesome, isn't it? California Grill always does like a seasonal creme brulee and I've never seen them do a pumpkin one before and I've never had a pumpkin creme brulee so I kind of have that to look forward to at the end of the meal but I'm also excited to see what California Grill stuffing is like. Like I, you know I'm all about the stuffing and I like to see their spin on it you know what I mean? I also keep on peeking out at the Magic Kingdom as I finish up my soup here just to see what's happening what's going on over there at Cinderella Castle. Now it's time to move on to the braised beef short rib wontons. Now these aren't technically like a part of the Thanksgiving package, but I just love them so much. I get them every time I come here. They do have a little spice to them, but they are so, so good. I really love these little things. I'm gonna cut one of them so you can see what's on the inside. But I, like I said, love these. They are so, so good. <laughs> it's one of the things I remember most about eating whenever I come to California Grill. Look at that short rib in there. And a part of Thanksgiving is enjoying things and being thankful for the things that you actually are able to do. And I'm thankful that I get to come out and try some of these short rib wontons. I can't wait for my mom and sister to come back down. I want to bring them to this restaurant so bad. I think they'd like it a lot. And it'd give them a reason to be like, hey guys, you got to get all dressed up in a dress and, you know, get them all like dazzled up and take them out for a night on the town or a night on Disney World. I think they'd like it a lot. But anyway, here's the wontons. <laughs> mm. Buyer beware though. These are very spicy. I love them though, like they're so good, but just so you know in the future, if you plan on getting them, there's a little heat in there. <laughs> they pack a little punch. Another thing I love about the California Grill is how they give you the fancy water here. Look at that, get the fancy water. <laughs> it's actually very refreshing. The best thing about it is it's complimentary. 
free fancy water. It's not like the uh, water that they serve at the Grand Floridian. Well, at Victoria and Albert's, that's $120 for a sampling, which I actually had a whole bottle, and I got to share with some of you guys out there when uh, I had a meetup at the boardwalk. So if you guys were uh, part of the group that got to try some of the fancy uh, Victorian Albert's water, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But this water is just as good, isn't it? And like I said, it's free. And normally, whenever I dine at California Grill, I feel like I'm only up here when it's dark out because of the hours, like usually only are 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. And since they're not doing their famous California Grill brunch anymore, it's really nice to be up here at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It looks beautiful. The sun's shining in through all these windows, and the place just kind of lights up. I really, really do love it up here. It is such a nice spot. And eventually later on we're going to go out on the observation decks and take a look at uh, all of magic kingdom from out there that's going to be really pretty and here it is the main course look at this it looks so beautiful doesn't it wow i am so excited to dive into this we've got the mashed potato we've got the green beans the cranberry relish the stuffing, the turkey. I also like it has like the, the dark meat turkey underneath there too, and the white meat turkey. So you get a little bit of everything. And this really does look like an amazing Thanksgiving meal. I can't wait to dive into it. We're just gonna jump right into it right now. First things first, we're gonna grab some of this dark meat right here. Look at that, pull it right out. A little bit of this right here. That's the way, yep. <laughs> we got a little bit of everything on one bite. A little bit of the mashed potatoes, a little bit of the stuffing, the gravy, the turkey, the cranberry relish, and a green bean in there. And we're just gonna go all in. For some reason, I knew this was going to be a great place to come get Thanksgiving dinner. It is so, so good and everything is amazing. You can tell it's all fresh ingredients. They cook in those turkeys here today and I love it. I love a little bit of everything. Seriously friends, thank you and happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody is having a wonderful meal and uh, I mean right now I'm eating by myself but I feel like I'm eating with all of you guys. And, it, and it's awesome. It's really amazing and I'm so thankful for it. So happy Thanksgiving guys I can't get over how good it is Everything is on point the mashed potatoes are amazing the both types of turkey is amazing I just love it. The gravy's good. So so good <laughs> It is seriously so good. I love the turkey, but I will be honest my mom's mashed potatoes are better. I do love my mom's mashed potatoes. She knows that too, but this is so delicious. I'm very, very happy with coming here today. So happy. As I was finishing up my last bites, I totally forgot that I was gonna bring Gracie home some turkey. So we're gonna have to stop and get her some Thanksgiving dinner before we actually go home. So she can have a little something for the holidays too. I don't want to forget her. I do it every single holiday. Sometimes I just cook dinner so I'm able to actually give her uh, like a little plate that I make for myself and then I make her a little plate. So before we go home and later on in the video, we're going to show you Gracie's Thanksgiving dinner. That really did the trick. Hit the spot and now it's time for pumpkin creme brulee. <laughs> and take a look at the pumpkin creme brulee it looks like a turkey i love it this is so awesome it looks so so good too i cannot wait to dive into this and try it <laughs> it's kind of so pretty i don't want to mess it up though i'm pretty positive it's supposed to be a turkey it looks like a turkey to me doesn't it, it even have like a little beak right here like <laughs> that is so awesome all right here we go I guess we're gonna try it from this side. There goes the creme brulee. Wow. That is so good. I taste pumpkin, but I taste so much more. Like I taste everything. 
And you got a little pumpkin over here too. Like there's so much happening with this dessert. It's kind of shocking. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how to like describe it. Like I know a lot of pumpkin taste to it, but everything else is just so amazing. Mm. They just raised the curtains up a little bit because the sun is going down. And look at that. How cool is it to actually see all the ferry boats going about their day on Thanksgiving, picking up guests, bringing them to the Magic Kingdom. I love it. Now that we're all finished with dinner, I think we're gonna go out to the observation decks and just take a look out at the Magic Kingdom for a little bit. The view from out here is always just breathtaking. Look at that. Oh. And they're playing the Christmas music too. I love it. I could spend hours out here just listening to Christmas music and just staring out at the Magic Kingdom. Oh, it is so beautiful. But I do want to get home. I want to see my dog. And I want to give Gracie some Thanksgiving too. So I guess on to uh, our next stop. Also something else that's really awesome, because they don't plan on using these ever again because it has the Thanksgiving menus in it, you actually get to keep your menu and take it home. And also, all the cast members get to eat the leftover turkey tonight. So that is pretty amazing. I was trying to find some place to get like a Thanksgiving dinner for Gracie and happy to say a lot of places are closed on Thanksgiving. I think that's really awesome. I've noticed that a lot more places have been shutting down for the holidays since the big shutdown. Last year was the first time probably in 16 years that I wasn't working in a restaurant for the holidays and the hospitality industry is so rough during the holidays. It was such a stressful time for me so make sure if you guys are out and you're enjoying Thanksgiving at the parks or at the resorts to make sure you take care of the cast members or anywhere if you're just at regular restaurants in your hometown uh, just try to you know take care of them and understand it it's not easy you know what I mean I've been there like I said 16 years probably straight every single Christmas every major holiday I was always working and uh, I was able to find one place that was open and I got some uh, turkey and some sweet potatoes and corn for Gracie, and she's gonna love it. Look at this, isn't that amazing? Some fresh carved turkey, some carrots, some sweet potatoes. I wanted to get her some gravy and uh, stuffing, but some of that stuff has onion inside of it, and onion is not good for dogs. Um, mostly everything here is good for dogs. The carrots, I had to check because I know that sometimes they put a glaze on it, but these are just steamed carrots, so she's gonna enjoy this a lot. We're gonna make it for her, and we're gonna watch her eat. <laughs> I don't know why, but I get the greatest thrill out of watching Gracie eat. Like, I make sure she eats every single bite, and usually she'll eat it all within, like, seconds. And I'm just like, yes, that's very satisfying. Just knowing that she's eating a good meal makes me happy. We gotta pull out the fancy dishes for Thanksgiving dinner. Feed me, foolish mortals. You want some turkey? Huh? A little bit of turkey snack before you actually put it together? Here you go. That's about all of it. I mean, we could add these little pieces in there too, but I wanted to be able to have a good mixture. You know, a little bit of everything in one bite. Just the way I like it. She likes it the same way. Oh, we're gonna add in these carrots. Carrots are very good for dogs. Very high in fiber. Happy Thanksgiving, Gracie. Make sure you eat all your vegetables. Eat the carrots too. Yes, you gotta eat the carrots. As Gracie's finishing up her Thanksgiving dinner, I think we're gonna call it a night here. Thank you guys so much. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It was so fun to be able to hang out at the Magic Kingdom on Thanksgiving Day and just be thankful for the opportunities we have in life. And also, California Grill was so amazing. Seriously, I had a great Thanksgiving. I had a blast and I hope you guys did too. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. It really did not stand a chance. 
Look at that. She's just about finishing it all. What? <laughs> Did you like it? Did you like it? Happy Thanksgiving, my angel. I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs>